If you're gonna live bait fish, you got to have a good minnow tank to keep your minnows in, your bait, because you wanna keep them as lively and as feisty as possible. And that's what triggers the bite on these fish, okay? Is a feisty minnow. You don't wanna do this down. All right, folks, first thing we gotta do, we gotta fill this extreme bait tank up with water and uh, get it ready to put the minnows in. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, so anyway, I'll try to explain it to you the best I can. Sometimes I ain't a good explainer, but I'll try my best. I will. Yes, I will. Okay, extreme bait tank right here. Uh-huh. All right, damn. And this extreme bait tank right here is the best on the market. I paid extra for that. Just go ahead and take the top off right here and kind of show you how this thing works. I'll keep all my, my, my minnow catching stuff right here in this little, this little container right here. And, uh, but now, this may seem strange to some people, <laughs> but you need to put some salt in here. Rock salt is the best, ice cream salt. I didn't have any, so I just grabbed what I had. And I'm gonna put one little scoop of salt in there. What that does, that protects the slime coat on your, on your bait while it's in the tank. And don't ask me how it does that, I don't know. There's two ways you can put water in this bait tank. You can get a bucket, and you can pour it in there, which is back breaking. I done been down that road. Don't want to do that no more. Or you can do what I've done right here. And I'll show you. I've got, uh, I've got this little hose right here. I've got a billy's pump on the end of it. And here's the wires that I run to the, uh, to my uh, batteries back here. Okay, so you take that right there, y'all. Look at you. Put it down in the water. See, just like that right there. All right, now you take this hose right here and you put it right in there like that right there. Here's my connector for my batteries, which is in here. I'll show you right here. So I got a battery right here in this particular boat. See, that's the battery right there that runs the bait tank. That battery's just for the bait tank. These right here for the trolling motor. Okay, and these little clips right here, see how I got them on there? That is this cord right here, connector. And it comes out right down here, see there? Okay, now. So I'm gonna plug it up. All right, watch this right here now. See, that bit is pumps in, in the lake here. See, I want y'all look at that. Ain't that something? That's easy right there, boy. No back breaking work. All you do is you just sit here and you let this bait tank just fill up with water. Mm -hmm. This bait tank right here is 12 gallons. It's a 12 gallon bait tank. And for me, it, it works really good. I got bigger bait tanks that's available for bigger boats. There's that little line right there. That's how high up you want to come with a water in your tank. Now, I'm going to fill this side up too. I'm not sure how many gallons over here, but I'm not sure all together. But anyway, what it does is 12 gallons over here and it recirculates the water over here back into the tank and it goes through these filters right here and cleans the water. So you got to do this before you ever catch any manners. I mean, live bait fishing is, uh, especially if you catch your own bait, is, I mean, it's a, it's a process and it ain't really all that easy i mean i know it looks easy sometimes in some of these videos but it's really not now i'm telling you it's a, a lot of work and you do you do this a lot of times you don't catch nothing out here in this lake nothing and it may be the case today i'm not real sure yet come on now come on i can't feel it up quick enough i love catching bait now i just love catching bait if i can find it to me i get so caught up in catching bait sometimes i don't even, i forget about it and go on fishing now see i got this side filled up and this side filled up so we good with the water out right here. Now this is the power cord that goes to your battery. And just go ahead and plug this, plug it up to your bait tank. All uh, right, see there? See them bubbles coming out? What that does, that puts a lot of oxygen in the water for your bait. And it goes down in yonder, it recirculates up through here and then runs back out in so it, it filtrates this water. When we get done, that water right there will be crystal clear. Yes, it will. We shouldn't have to get back in this side of the tank until we get done fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten these up. Gotta have a little net. See my little net right here? Get it ready. All right. Now we're gonna get the net. See right here? That's the net in that bucket. Now, sometimes this water in these lakes, it's got a lot of floating debris in it. You don't wanna put that floating debris in this bait tank, because what it'll do, it'll stop up and clog up the system. What I like to do is just take me a little my little thing right here, hope I don't fall in. Put me some water in it. Yeah. Tell you what, let's just set it right there. 
And what I'll do when I catch my bait, I'll put them in here first. And then I'll take my little net and scoop them out of here, put them in here. That way you don't get debris, lake debris in, in your uh, bait tank. So, okay. Now, now I'm gonna get the net. I think we ready to catch bait, y'all. I sure do. All right, now I'm gonna show you kind of what I use to look for bait. I got this Garmin right here. Now I went ahead and got a live, live scope on this Garmin right here. Now what that'll do, that'll show me the men are way out in front of me before I ever get to them, because these men are real spooky. So this is a pretty good investment. I mean, like I say, if you're gonna live bait fish, which I do 90% of the time, uh, probably 98% of the time, I mean, it's what I do. So I gotta have stuff to do it with. And uh, this Garmin, I just got it maybe a month or so ago. Let me tell you something, it takes the work out of throwing this net. You don't want to have to throw this net no more than you have to, I promise you, you just don't. Okay, here's here's the live scope I was telling you about. I see that's shooting a signal out oh, about 60 feet out in front of this boat. So there's, there's a bunch of bait right there. See, look there, see it? See it right there, y'all? Yeah. Where, 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 where. See it right here? That's bait. Okay, now I'm getting excited now. Coming up on it right here. Coming up on it. See right here, y'all. Look, 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 look. Oh, we just got a bunch of bait. I'm telling you right now, we did. I seen it go down over. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I can't wait to find out and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Talking about getting lucky. That's really the first throw I made today. Let's see. Surely I got some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a little bit. Well, we caught one man out of that whole big bunch. See that big yellow tail right there, boy? Look here. We caught one man out of all that bait. No, actually, this is not a yellowtail. Well, no, whoop, whoop, Lord help me. This is a little gizzard shad. Right now, I'd rather have these than yellowtails. That's a little gizzard shad. And that's, we just throwed it down on that big group of minnows there, and that's not, we, we just caught one minnow out of this bunch. Anyway, that's okay, one's better than none. Put him in the book. Mm-hmm. Now, it's fun, I'm telling you, it's fun now. I like it doing it. Okay, now, all right, get this net ready. Let's find us some more. See, if I didn't have this, I would just be throwing blindly out here, not knowing really where they're at. So this, you throw this net all day, it's gonna wear you out. I'm just telling you right now, it's gonna wear you out. It's, you know, when you throw that net, it slows down as it goes down. Them fish, them, that bait fish will run out from under that net and you'll come up with nothing. Like just almost then, we did catch one, which is bad. We should have caught like a 10 or 15 of them. I know my shadow's in the way, but here's a bunch of men bait right here. See them right there? Here we go. All right. Let's see this net go down. See, a lot of times they run out of that net before it gets down there. See it? Ooh, we might have got some right here. See them running around? We might have got some right here. Pull it up and see. Oh, yeah, we got some this time. Oh, look here. Oh, yeah. The gizzard chad, the big fish bait right here. Now you talking about big bass bait? Put them in there. There's one. You'd be surprised how big a man are these bass can eat. I think there's one down there sniffing. Oh, there's one got it. Yeah. And there he is. There he is, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna walk to the back of the boat. Some big fish here. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. He's coming up. Right, nice fish. Uh huh. Going all the way around the boat. It's a nice one there. Look at there. Ooh, been eating. Look at it, a little fat fish. Uh-huh. You got a big old minner tail sticking out of his mouth. See down in there? Boy, that is a beautiful, beautiful bass here. All right, I'm gonna turn him loose, y'all. And we think we can take it to the house. Appreciate y'all watching. Sure do. All right, folks, you remember how we uh, pumped the water in this bait tank here when we first got here to go catch the bait? Well, here's what you do when you get done fishing. Like now you just take that same little doohickey right there, a little bitty pump, put it down in there, cut it on, and it 
sucks all the water out. See? Look at that, y'all. Back into the lake. Uh-huh. Yep, sure does. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, leave us a comment, man. We love to hear you. We love to read comments from y'all. Let us know what you think. I appreciate you. Uh-huh.